Hey, how about it everybody? This is Leverbolt76, I'm Chad, and today we're going to talk about the Savage Axis. No, it's not a rerun. This one is chambered in 270 Winchester. Alright, let's get after it. The 270 Winchester was released in 1925 and it was chambered for the Model 54 bolt action rifles. Now when this thing was released it was putting out 3150 feet per second with 130 grain factory load. Man that's moving. You know I think one of the most interesting things about the 270 is the fact that it's a 270. We really don't have a lot of those. Got quite a few 260's got quite a few 7 millimeters or 284s floating around but we really don't have well what do we have the 270 270 short mag and the 270 super short I think just not a lot of 27 caliber bullets out there I wonder why that is well I think we can go back to the time that it was released 1925 we just finished up with the uh, World War One and the Spanish-American War before that and a lot of those soldiers that fought in those wars were very familiar with the German Mauser and the bullets that it shot and that seven millimeter they knew about and to be honest the American public especially those soldiers weren't too fond of German technology you know, the 270 didn't take off quite as fast as Winchester hoped it would have, but thanks to a gunwriter by the name of Jack O'Connor, well, I guess you could say the rest is history. And I don't really think there's anything about Jack O'Connor or the 270 that I can say that hasn't already been said a thousand times before. So, we'll go ahead and talk about the rifle. So like I said in the intro, this is not a rerun, this is the Savage Axis chambered in 270. The last video I did, it was 25-06, but it is the identical rifle. You can hold the two of them up side by side and you can't tell the difference between them. I've, I've actually got to look on the barrel when I take them out to make sure I've got the right one in my hands. But we'll go through it just the same as we did last time for anybody who hasn't seen that one. So, uh, I got this thing from Bass Pro. It was a sales event that they were having. I think I picked it up for $250 or $300 after a $100 coupon or a rebate or something. But it's got the special Bass Pro edition camo on it. Uh, got a cheap weaver scope, uh, plastic trigger guard. This is just the Axis one, so it doesn't have the Accu trigger on it. Um, 22 inch barrel so that's pretty good the action on this one is every bit as smooth as the other one and I've got to say for a for a $250 rifle with a scope attached that's a pretty fair action I mean at least that 25 out 6 I haven't had any trouble with it uh, the bolt release is up here. Safety's on back. Moves very smooth, just like all of my videos. It's unloaded unless I'm at the range. Now in that 25-06 video, I was pretty impressed with the whole package. So I really hope that this 270 will do just as well. Um, I think when we head out there today, I've got this. Uh, Federal Trophy Copper. It's 130 grain. Same grain the rifle was first released in. Uh, never shot copper bullets before. Full copper bullets. So we'll see how this one likes them. Alright, let's head on out to the range. Well, we made it out to the range. And it is 7.30 in the morning. Currently 18 degrees on October 9th. So... I think this might be my last video out at the range for the year. Uh, 
first rifle season's getting ready to start up. That's going to last with all the various seasons through the end of December or through December. So I don't want to mess up anybody else's hunting out here shooting. There's people hunt all around here. So I think this is probably going to be my last time out at the range for the year. And uh, what we have during this time is uh, Federal's 130 grain trophy coppers and I've never shot an all copper bullet this will be the first time and I'm a little leery about it we've got uh, this out of the box gun brand new barrel I don't know how accurate it's gonna be I've I've seen a lot of things where some guns don't like these all copper bullets but I would imagine here in Colorado we're gonna be going to them before too much longer so the interesting thing this is the meat eater edition of the federal premiums and they were nice enough to give you a bone-in barbecue wild game and ribs recipe off the back of this box so not only do you get your uh, little bit of ballistic information out to 300 yards you get a a nice barbecue rib recipe so got all your ingredients how to make it so anyway we'll give these copper bullets a try and see how they do and I don't know if if we can't make a group down there I'm not gonna blame it on this rifle I think later on we'll try some core locks or maybe some type of Winchesters through it or a more normal bullet who knows maybe they'll group good but uh, oh this cold weather boy there's some heavy heavy frost on the ground it's it's definitely getting close to winter time hunting seasons just around the corner so we'll see if we can make some noise Well, that's not too bad. We've got one, two, three there that are, that's MOA, these are one inch squares. One up there a bit higher, but that's not bad at all for these copper bullets. I think that gun, safe to say, likes them all right. <laughs> 